Hello YouTube fans, here again. Hopefully you can see me because the sun is being fucking annoying. Say it again, it's been annoying. Everywhere I go, it's fucking blaring. Every time I want to go out anywhere, rain, 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 rain. As soon as I go out to do one of these, the sun is being fucking annoying. But I figure why not, why not? With me, myself and I. That's like me, myself and I and a few of updates and things and things left to come. Now as you may or may not know, April is my anniversary. That's why it's my anniversary of when I first opened this channel. And we all know, when I first opened this channel, it was in April 2010. That's right, 2010, without looking like an old fart. And I figure why not do an anniversary. So like I normally do, I saw my best moments on the this when I did this beautiful channel with me, the set symbol, the good looking one. So I figure why not do that? I'll do like an anniversary of things I'm planning on doing. So the anniversary will just be me and the days when I was running my channel, meaning Peter Eccles, the set symbol. Other than that though, the beautiful topics I'll be talking about, probably more movies and some more movie reviews. Why not, why not? So I'll be talking about some more movies, talking about what I'm doing in the shop and basically just keeping you up to date. Now, as we all know, we've got Bollis the Dollis, trying to talk reason with the Wussons. That's why at the time, once the ball was all up, nuked us all and turned us into brown fucking bread. Say it again, turned us into brown bread. And it's like nerfing when you've got Bollis the Dollis, trying to run the tables and trying to talk reason. You've got fucking labour of all people. I do not want fucking Starman sticking his fucking oar in. But it's one of these, it's one of these, he's trying to do reasonable and he's trying to talk reason to these fucking assholes from the Soviet Union. That's over the Soviet Union. And you know what it feels like to me? You know what it feels like? It feels like a James Bond film. You know the old Bond movies when Rod Moore was playing Bond or maybe some of Sean Connery's or maybe Timothy Dalton or even me, because I used to play James Bond, believe it or not, this and years ago. And it reminds me of a Bond film, you know, with the Soviet Union, the Russians and all this, you know, Tech Mate and all this bollocks. And it just frightens me, it frightens me that we could get neutered and not know it. That arsehole in Russia could just go, oh, I'm bored today, what's that pity button over there? Oh, it's a pity red button, why not, why not? Bye bye, Fiena, I don't have chance to even eat my corn fates in the morning because I'll be fucking neutered. I'll be neutered. So yeah, it's a bit hysteria. It's a frightening thought that this guy in Russia, he could fucking neuter us. He could fucking neuter us by pressing that pretty little red button. Now I admit, I admit that if I was in power, right now I already admit this, I admitted it, that if I was in power, I'd probably press the nuke button. No, it just seems like a fun thing to do. It looks like this pretty little red button here and it's just having the power the power to go, oh right, there's a button. It says new a cunce, new the planet Earth. Right, I wonder what will happen if I press this little pretty button. It's a nice colour, I like the look of it. Oh, we need someone else to, to turn them keys. Oh, but my mate, I'll get him drunk, he'll do it. Yeah, do I have one of a stong bomb. There you go, mate. Oh, you want some um, socks and all? Well, oh, fuck it, we've got to get neutered anyway. Well, well I will, because I'm, I'm the president. I'll just go in that pretty silver room there, and you can come in with me for, for helping me out. Right, we're the best to put on the death off. Yay, yeah, yeah, nice one. Bye! I say, I say, I can fucking new everybody. It'd be fucking awesome, wouldn't it? But nevertheless, the fucking Russians, he's got the power now to do that, right? He's got the power to do that. And it's like I said, on one of my last times I did one of these, me, myself and I. The end of the day, the end of the fucking day, we all go back to history, that's the old history lesson. Who met his mats all the way back in World War II? Who met his mats? Hitler met his mats. Hitler met his mats because he did the same thing, he fucked with the Russians. You don't fuck with the fucking Russians, the Russians don't fuck around. No matter what I think of Mother Russia, they don't fucking fuck around. They could just nuke you, no arsing about, because they're fucking assholes, and it souls it. It fucking souls it. Hopefully you can see me, because the sun's been fucking annoying. I've been everywhere, and the sun's just jumping on me like a sex maniac. 
it's dumping on me like a sex maniac because it just worries me the world we live in worries me a lot now at the moment my mate at work as you can see it's my day off today you might see me that time I did the one in um, the, uh, the one I did in Poyton so that's when I was getting the train didn't get home at about 7 oh that burping I didn't get home until about half seven in the fucking morning, well, afternoon, about late time, because then of the fucking day, fucking train it took me, it took me a bus and a train, a three fucking buses and a puffer train and a puffer train and a bus to get me all the way back to home sweet home. But it's part of the job, so I'm not going to win, I'm not going to complain, I'm not going to win the river. When I went for the top interview, I knew what I was getting it myself in for. I knew what I was getting myself in for. So it's one of these. It's one of these now, and it's a worrying moment. These are worrying fucking times we are in. It's worrying times. So I want to prove myself. So I am the man for the job. Why not? Why not? You know what I mean? All my life, I've had people say, Pete, you're not going to mount to anything. You're not going to mount to this. You're not going to mount to that. This is my time, my golden opportunity to prove all these people that said all my life I'm not going to be worth diggity fucking dig. This is my time, prove my fucking point that fuck you with a topical F that I have been somewhere and I have made something of myself. So I think of fuck it, I'm going to do that. But I'm not doing it to prove these fuckers want, I'm also doing it for someone else. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for myself to prove that I'm right. And I'm not, I am a success. So it's going to be dud to do that. It's going to be dud. Because at the moment, I'm still on what they call a probation. And that lasts into April. And then the big boss will decide if I'm worth it or not. So it's one of these. I'm hoping to keep my job. Maybe I'll do that one in a rant. But on April, you've probably seen my anniversary with me, the set symbol and all my date moments and so on. But my new task, as I was about to say, my mate wants me to do, and honest, I'm not making this up, I've not been drinking beer, not been taking drugs, my mate, and as you're not hearing things this time, my mate, this is to save Tidus in a certain part of the country, because she pulled Circe a kill in the beautiful Tidus. All the beautiful Tidus in the jungle and Africa are getting wiped out by all you fucking asshole fucking poultus. So we did a new charity, right? They be Ronnie thinking, well, Pete, what's he got to do? What are they on about? Let me get to the point. My mate wants me to do sit ups. They think, well, what's that got to do with drinking beer? What the fuck has that got to do with taking drugs? You have not finished. He wants me, and you're not hearing things, he wants me to do 3,000 sit ups. Seriously, this time, people, you're not hearing things. I've not been drinking beer, not been taking drugs, not had the fucking fourth booster. Um, he wants me to do fucking fee. You're not hearing things. 3,000 fucking puss-ups. Now, I'm up for saving Muffer... Muffer, Nate saw, I was about to say. I'm up for saving Muffer, Nate saw, and I'm up for saving the world what we live in. Remember, I did a lot of things about that, and I'm a very predictable person. But seriously, mate, I love you, I love you. But 3,000 sit ups, I'd be fucking dead myself. I did some today anyway, I did about eight, and I was almost fucking dead. Uh, but I'm willing to do it anyway, okay? See? I'm willing to do it. And if anyone's interested, do some sit-ups, because what you'll be doing, you will be saving them tigers while getting poached, getting their arms, arms there, getting their legs, getting bits of their bodies cut up, because your poachers are fucking stumbags. I already said this on the last time I did a review and a rant. Anyone that can kill an animal for the fun of it and kill it for little things, a fucking slime of humanity. Yeah, I'm a meat eater. I like a steak like the next man. But at the end of the day, what I'm wearing, what I'm eating, is killed for a useful chores. I'm eating the animal. I'm not killing it for a few little things. I'm not killing it for fucking sport. Dad, I'm not killing it. I'm just going for a, for a fucking donut to bab. But nevertheless, these fucking assholes are killing animals for fur and little things. And there's so many left... These tigers are the most beautiful animals going. They're beautiful. 
for a poacher to kill it for little fuck for its fur, for its legs, for its head, for anything. It's just fucking disgusting. It's disgusting. So I'm willing to do the 3,000 sit-ups. And then if I'm still alive in April, after doing those many sit-ups, hopefully you see my anniversary. And hopefully my dog will stay on the line. I hope. But nevertheless, you will see my anniversary of me, the good-looking one, where I'll do some more movies, some more movie reviews. But until then, people, be smart. Be safe, I'll be back in the shop tomorrow. But instead, be smart, be safe. I'll see you later.